In this video, we are very stupid. This deck is dang fun. This is an absolute blast. It's potentially some of the most fun I've had, and I really hope you guys enjoy this deck. This is, it's so dumb. I'll explain it all. Uh, it's just like, here's the thing. If you lose, you don't feel bad. It's Agatha. Agatha played it. She cooks sometimes. She cooks amazing things, but it's Agatha. So you don't feel bad if you lose, honestly. So we, we have three different decks we cooked up and what you build on it allows for a little bit of variation. But again, you can't plan it. It's Agatha. So that's not something you can easily plan. For the baseline, you're going to see we have a lot of the same cards throughout. In terms of the baseline, we got Black Knight. Of course, Black Knight's the brand new card of the game, and he's absolutely insane with Agatha. You want him to get uh, discarding some very large stuff, as well as, honestly, a Black Cat is pretty good as well, because we also run her in the deck. So on a lot of games, you'll see we got turn one Black Knight into a discarding of Black Cat into a 4-9 Ebony Blade. Pretty solid stats loving how it works not to mention we have blade of course just discarding the rightmost card in our hand that's never going to be agatha but still discarding more of your hand is gonna be pretty good uh lady sif again one of the staples that we have throughout these lady sif is another really great card to make sure that it's always going to hit agatha we don't have death in this deck and we don't have she have too many high cost cards in here because we want the chance of agatha getting discarded to be as likely as possible then we also have hell cow because again more of the cards getting out of our hand is pretty great nine times out of ten and black cat we already talked about hella is essential oftentimes she's not going to play that much but hella even just dropping down an, an agatha dropping down an infinite if you can do that for her turns her into a 626 potentially more with black cat works out in total agatha of course an infinite is just good stats Simple as that. During this video, we use uh, Zabu, Moon Knight, Ghost Rider, and Silver Samurai as additional cards, discarding extra cards from our hand and their hand, as well as uh, Zabu, allowing more of our cards to get played quicker, and Ghost Rider, potentially bring back those cards if we don't get the opportunity to play Hela. Because again, you can't strategize Agatha as much as you would like to. But there are still two other decks here, even though this is the one that we're going to showcase in the video. I got two other alternatives if you want to try it up a little bit differently. Crazy Force is pretty similar, but we all we just swapped out Moon Knight and Silver Samurai to reduce the amount of cards that we're actually discarding from our own hand in order to bring out Dracula and Jubilee into this deck and just allow you to have more of the cards that you're going to have in your hand go onto the board. Dracula is really great to be able to combo potentially with an infinite late game, depending on how many of the cards that Agatha has discarded from your hand, as well as Jubilee just guarantees more of your cards out as well. You don't know what she's going to bring, but it's Agatha. She's already random. Jubilee doesn't hurt. And then the last one, not my Agatha. I actually really do like this one as well um, because we throw magic in here. We got Morbius as well. We leave Jubilee and then instead of using Silver Samurai or Dracula, we actually go for a Gambit to mess with the opponent a little bit more. Magic I really like because Agatha will always play herself if she is given the opportunity. So given the opportunity to play herself, we now have one more turn to potentially play more of our deck. Most likely, if we can, a Hela to try to throw down that bigger combo at the end. Or we still have Morbius in here because Morbius, even if he gets discarded early on by a lot of people still running Silver Samurai right now, he still just gets bonuses by the more and more of the cards that we play from our own deck. So that's very effective. Gambit is great to just hit a random card. And again, Jubilee, it's random. Agatha's random and it works out. So y'all watch videos, you see this dumb stuff. It's a blast. I hope you guys have fun with this video. Um, there's a good amount of losses, but it's some really fun wins in there too. You are guaranteed to get more of the cards inside of your deck because she is never in your deck, right? Like, so it's actually a very good deal. So we go for a Black Knight immediately, by the way. Ooh, Nexus could really hurt us here. Oh, why'd you have to go there? That's unfortunate. Don't play anything yet. Yeah, dude, I love Loki. Listen, I love countering Loki. One of the first decks I actually played against a Loki, uh, was it like when Loki came out as a card? First deck I played, 100%. It was uh, a Loki Agatha deck. My, one of my favorites I had, I had done. All right, here's the thing. Lady Sif, if that hits Agatha uh, right here, we can win this game. Nah, Chief. Bro, that's insane. That's actually insane right now. Let's go Silver Sham right here. Wind I don't even care about that location hand. right now. Like, honestly. Because we could, we could just play a... Uh, 
Shang-Chi, they lost their Shang-Chi. That's sick. So we have three cards currently in there right now. Guys, do we go for the blind? Like, this is how, this is how Hella loses. Is this a play? What do we think? Do we go for it? There is a 20, there's a 40% chance, technically. We gamble, we gamble. I feel like we gamble. <laughs> Bro, if this, if this, if this cooks, if this cooks, if we're, if, if this is go somewhere, Ghost chill. No! Wait. Yo. Was it that bad? Honestly? Legit, was that bad? I don't even know if that was that bad. I'm fine with that, legitimately. Like that's chill. We have that lane. And now they can only play if I'm not mistaken in this lane. So if we just go this, this. We just win. We're cooking? We're cooking? Victory. <laughs> what is this, brother? How is this working? This has to be illegal. Yeah, no, like I, I, it was it was a gamble I was willing to push and I'm okay with losing that right there just because I found that game so interesting. Like that's not, that was not a good game. I, I didn't play that well, but I loved it. It was a blast. Um, this. Yo, Attilan kind of pop off right now. If if we play Lady Sif, dude, Lady Sif here, we're popping. Agatha has gone, guys. We don't have Agatha again. Like I'm snapping this. We are guaranteed to lose Agatha. Honestly, I don't, I, I feel like any, I, I don't think they're ever going to buff Agatha. I don't, I, they've said, they've actually said recently they do not want to buff Agatha at all. The fact that we have, again get rid of her completely right there is insane. But I don't think they will buff they will buff Agatha. I don't see that as a world, actually. Should I Moon Knight here? I want a Moon Knight. I know we've talked about many times, guys, not to bet on Hella, but I really want to bet on Hella. Yeah, like Agatha shouldn't be a good card, 100 percent No, they want her to be bad. I get it. It makes sense to me. Should we go for the Ghost Rider here? Let's, go, let's do Ghost Rider because honestly, if it hits, it either hits Agatha, which is great for us, or it hits uh, Sil Silver Samurai, which hit, brings our Moon Knight out. I'm fine with this. Let's go. Or it gets rid of our Moon Knight. That's what I mean. That's fine. We get rid of something of theirs. Their Blade. Interesting. That actually sucks for them. We can skip this next turn at this point. We just don't. Here's the thing we don't play anything right now, right? We skip this turn, we can infinite. Yeah. Um, honestly, let's drop infinite here. Right? Victory. 90% of hell players quit right before their random discard hits the infinite instead. Uh, the infinite I felt like a good play right there because what I thought they were gonna do is that I thought they were going to play a Modoc left lane. Which actually maybe I should have played infinite mid or left lane with that logic, but still honestly, like how how are we doing this well with this deck right now, guys? I, it actually doesn't make sense to me. Why is it why can't I see the little thing she says? That's that's a, gosh. I actually like the idea of playing magic. Magic instead of Morbius, I think would be it. Mor the Morbius slot's one that we've been kind of messing with a little bit. Do we think it's the Morbius slot or do we think there's a different slot that she can fit in? Do we, here's the thing is that, I guess what well, we are using Hella or was it? Ma magic would be to buff Hella, right? We discard Black Cat at the end of this turn, not bad. Bro, if, if Lady Sif hits this here, 
she plays Lady Sif, we win. Otherwise, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Ugh, I just like that. We'll leave it. We'll play through. We're playing through. Did we just get Dracula? Bro, how do we get Dracula? We want him. What? You're joking me, brother. What? What? I'm sorry, what? Bro, she's cooking. Agatha's cooking. Nah, Chief. This is insane. This is actually insane right now. How in the world is she cooking? No, I... How did she know? How did she know? Jubilee into a blade. How did she know? I need an answer, actually, of how she knew that was going to occur. Dude, that's a solid play. You're joking right now. This is 12 strength here. We snap here. Oh, they snap here. You want to wait one? I want to wait one turn. Maybe we wait one turn. We figure out what they're going to play this turn. We know where Agatha's going to play. We snap back. We, we boomer snap them. We can boomer snap them. Agatha's ancient, okay? We can boomer snap. She's, she's like, she's super old. I don't care. What's wrong with... I've got Morbius and such. I don't... No. She ain't cooking like this. I snap here. Do we snap? I want to. No, no, no. I'm not snapping. I want to let it ride. This is too good right now. This is too good right now. This is too good. Do we. Maybe. Oh my gosh. They have Hella. No! We were so close! Bro, she knew. Dude, she made so many good plays. Like, I'm not even, like, again, I'm not mad about this loss. This is, I'm glad we didn't snap, but like, even with this loss, like, here's the thing, we absolutely had this lane. She gave us Agent Coulson to give us the Dracula. Phil, she, she gave us Phil somehow knowing that, knowing something we didn't there. And somehow she knew that their Hella would only put everything mid. <laughs> like, I get it. It's not, it, this is not. Guys, when we're talking about this deck, I want to make this very clear. The deck, we're not, we're not, it's not a good deck, guys. If you're expecting a great deck here, you're not going to get it. However, bro, this deck slaps. This is a blast to play. Double boosters. Black Knight here is immediately good. Yeah, I love this stuff. This is good. I'm liking this. I don't want to swap in. I, I do feel like swapping out Morbius, uh, or was it swapping out Ghost Rider and putting in a a magic is a really solid play. I don't want to, honestly. Uh, we can't play anything yet. <laughs> that is true. The best part about losing with this deck is you don't feel bad because you didn't actually play it. <laughs> Um, all right, squirrels are, eh. We're gonna have a five strength. Uh, we're gonna have a five strength ebony blade. Okay. Dakin, that's a solid Dakin. If it plays Hellcow mid, I'd be so stoked right now. Play Hellcow. Opponent snapped. Let her cook, all right. One three chance. Agatha's rigged the odds, guys. Don't worry, we're fine here. Dude, we, we have so many squirrels. You're gonna hit a squirrel. If you don't hit a squirrel, it's BS. I'm sorry, what? Never mind. It's worth it. It's a worthy sacrifice. Yo. <laughs> this is atrocious. All right, we go for this, guys? Oh, we have to gamba, right? We have to gamba this. Like, we can't, <laughs> we can't expect consistency right now, guys. We've gone too far to expect consistency from this deck. We have to go Hellcow here, right? It is a 50% chance that we throw the game potentially with this, and I don't care. 
<laughs> this is unhinged. I'm, I'm just going full unhinged right now. Like, actually. They got Modok. All right, let's see. Hey, man, merely seems like you had a lot of strategy in your deck. You probably win if you don't help out like that. Let's see. Yo, sick. Let me just... <laughs> no! We get back Ebony Blade, Silver Samurai, Agatha, and Infinite here, bro. <laughs> Let... Dude, he's letting us do it. No, Chief. I'm... I'll put on cloud makeup for this. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it, guys. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's a video. That's insane. That's a deck. That's actually an insane deck.